Today's brunch is inspired by my favorite recipes from France, where sometimes breakfast is un café et une pâtisserie, or a coffee and a pastry. My favorite French pastry is a pain au chocolat, and it starts off with really cold butter. And I've added the butter to a bowl filled with flour, salt, sugar, and active dry yeast. You can use your hands to do this, but I find that a pastry cutter helps break down the butter without melting it. And cold butter is so important in this. It helps to keep those nice air pockets that are gonna make this pastry flaky and delicious. I'm adding a combination of milk and water. Watch this come together. to work really quick. You don't want the butter to melt. Have a look at how all those chunks of butter still in the dough. And it's important because those pieces of butter keep very distinct layers in the dough. As butter melts, it creates steam. And that steam, when it's left intact, is what creates air pockets in the dough. And it's those air pockets that make for a super flaky crust. I'm gonna pop this into the fridge until the butter cools. All I've done is taken the dough out of the fridge and I want to work in the butter slowly. Look at that butter stretching out in the dough. And again, you need to work really quick so it doesn't melt. There's something so fun about painting, especially when it's butter. <laughs> so I need to fold this up and pretend it's like an envelope. So over on one side, over on the other. I need to get this back into the fridge and I'm gonna do this two more times and it's gonna help to get that butter settled into the dough and make for the flakiest crust you've ever tried. Now that I folded and chilled this three times, un, deux, trois, let's make some pastry. The chocolate just needs a rough chop. I like to add an extra dusting of chocolate and a quick press to flatten them a little.
I just cleaned up a little because chocolate gets everywhere. And now for a little egg wash. And the egg wash is awesome because it makes these super golden and crisp in the oven. Final touch, a sprinkle of sea salt. These are ready for the oven. I mean, does it get any better than this? buttery pain au chocolat. I smell it from here. And look at all those layers. That's what I was telling you about. Mm, mm, mm. That crust is flaky, buttery, crispy, sweet from the chocolate and slightly salty from the sea salt flakes. Mm.